Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today, and today we're going to be talking about five not sewing tools that I always have in my sewing room. Why do I call them not sewing tools? It's because none of these are typical sewing notions, but I find all of them helpful in my sewing room. So, what are they? Number one, starch. I use starch all the time to help with fabric handling. I use it with rayon chalet fabrics to spray it and help keep the grain line straight so that it is easier to handle the fabric and cut out patterns. I use it on knit fabrics, especially when they're trying to curl on me. This will help keep them from curling. And I always use it on knit hems because it helps stabilize the hems so that you can stitch them easily. The great thing about starch is that it washes out. So I use it to stabilize my fabrics and then once I finish sewing my garment, I wash it and it's gone. So any fabric that can be washed that you're having a little bit of trouble handling, starch can definitely help. Number two, washable markers. I buy these every year when school supplies go on sale because they are great for marking fabric. They mark all different kinds of fabric. I can even use this to mark fabrics with a pile, um, knit fabrics, things that don't necessarily work well with some more traditional marking techniques generally work well with washable markers. And again, since they're washable like starch, they can be used on any washable fabric. Now I do recommend if it's really special fabric or if you're worried that this might not wash out, check it on a scrap first, but so far I haven't found any washable fabrics that I couldn't get these markers out of. Number three, transparent tape. Now I have this fun little tape holder that I bought probably at Target years ago, but I keep tape in my sewing room. Not only is it great for taping together patterns or I use it on the tissue patterns to reinforce darts if I'm gonna mark them with a wheel instead of with my markers. This is also great for things like zippers. You can use this to hold a zipper in place without pins, which can sometimes cause like bumps and wrinkles in a zipper. And then you just stitch right through it and pull the tape off later. Number four, cardstock. I use cardstock if I need to make a template of a pattern piece that I'm gonna be cutting out a lot. It's easier to cut around the edges of cardstock with a rotary cutter if that's how you're going to be cutting. But mostly I use cardstock so that I can use it as a pressing guide. I draw little lines using my ruler and a pen and then I fold the fabric over and I can press to other depths precisely. And number five is matches. Why would I have matches in a sewing room? It's because these are great for sealing the ends of synthetic polyester fabrics. So if you have like polyester satin ribbon that is fraying on the ends, you can use a match, hold the heat close to that end, and it will make a little melted bead of melting those threads together so that it won't fray anymore. So matches are actually super handy to have in the sewing room. All right, y'all, those are five not sewing notions that I always have in my sewing room. If you have any other not sewing tools that you always use in your sewing, I'd love to hear about them. Please leave that in the comments. And if you wanna check out this playlist, there are more tips and in-depth information on some of those typical sewing notions.